Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Parlor. And this is the reading for the collective for the week of, excuse me, the 22nd through the 29th of January. Huh. And the little mini message is hold the space for the things that are important. Hold space for the things that are important to you, that nourish you. So for instance, you have a friend that you love to speak to, right? That, you know, supports you and loves you. And, you know, sometimes, you know, things don't work out in terms of plans and we're supposed to do something when, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll keep Wednesday aside, but like they couldn't make it when it's like, if it's really important to you, then drop things and hold the space of the things that are important. That's my mini message. Please check out the videos. Please become a member. So I do the collective. I do a full reading for the collective, but for individual signs, um, I do like six cards. And then for the extended reading, it's $4.99 a month. And that would be membership. You could, you know, cancel anytime. And membership also includes meditation videos, which I will be working on very soon. I know I keep on saying that, but I have a lot of things that I do. So I'm working on it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so we start with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands, um, I really like the Page of Wands. <laughs> I kind of like all the pages, but I, I the Page of Wands, um, I don't know, there's something very, uh, it's like a creative child, right? Like a creative child. So, the, you know, pages always have an energy of youth. And it's not so much that they're young. It's this, because for me, I don't read this like, oh, there's a young person in your life who's really creative. I don't read like that. This is you. Um, you know, it's this inkling of like, hmm, a passion that you're aware of, a passion that you're aware of. That, you know, maybe it's been there before. Maybe, you know, you never really gave it breath, mate, right? So maybe that's what it relates to the original message, which is like hold space. It's like, you know, this week I really want to, I don't know, take some time for myself to do something that I really enjoy, like, I don't know, baking or, you know, something that you create something in. And, you know, creativity, so many people get so caught up. It's like, well, I have to paint. It's like, there are so many ways to be creative, you know? You go out in the garden. You can uh, tell jokes. You can, you know, call your friend. You can um, go to the five and dime and just look around and, and five and dime, you know what I mean? Um, and just look around and like, let your imagination play, right? Go to a toy store. Even if you don't have any kids in your life, go to a toy store and like, it's like that. Be inspired. And then I have the emperor and the emperor. So, you know, the emperor is really solid. He's really stable. He, he's, it's the energy of Mars. So it's this energy of, um, I desire and I'm going to get it done. And, um, he's very in his head. He's very, you know, he, he really uses his, um, he organizes things in his head. I'm going to drink coffee. It's 10 o'clock at night and I have to do these videos at night. Um, but he's very stable. And then I get the nine of wands and the nine of wands is, is a really, there's a lot going on in that card. The, the nine of wands, I have so many meanings. I feel like there's a boundary set. There's a boundary set because you're the emperor, right? So the emperor is like, well, this is again to my kingdom or empire or whatever. There's a boundary set. I think it's a boundary that you actually have maybe with others of like, no, I need this time for, I need to hold this space. This is a space that I need to hold for myself. And even if that means just like, you know, sitting on the couch and reading a book or et cetera, 
It's like, I, I need this time for myself. Like, like, I'm really getting that. I'm really getting that. Okay. So that I can dream. So that I can dream. It's really important. It's really important. So today, <clears throat> it was very loud in the apartment. I really couldn't do any work. And I was really frustrated this morning. I was really frustrated. And, uh, and then I went out and um, I live in Mexico City. And the weather is always really lovely here. And I went out and it's so interesting because um, whenever I leave the house, it's it's just delightful. <laughs> the sun is just so delightful. And it opens me up and it's like, oh, and also because I'm new, right? I was like, oh, I never saw that tree before. I never saw that building before. And I'm just in a state of like curiosity and wonder. And being in like the sun or being in nature in any way, shape or form. And I know some people, it's like, I can't leave the house at zero degrees. It's like, even if you watch a YouTube, uh, you know, uh, documentary about the Serengeti, it's like, you know, it might not be exactly like being in the Serengeti. It might not be exactly like being in the park, but it's something. And, and it's really important to like, slow your mind down, allow yourself to dream, allow yourself to daydream, allow yourself, allow new thoughts to come in, hold that space, hold that space. I'm going to keep on coming back to that. Yeah, it's a really practical thing to do. It's a really practical thing to do. Second four. And it's also the, the interesting thing, you know, the four of uh, pentacles is really about being, it, it's a kind of the, the card of the miser. So it's like, well, I really want to go to the Caribbean. It's like, well, maybe you can't afford to go to the Caribbean. And that's okay. It's okay. It's like, but what would you do in the Caribbean? Like, why do you want to go? You know, oh, I want to sit in the sunshine. So go to a tanning booth. Or I want to uh, be in touch with nature. So grow some flowers or grow some plants or, you know, buy some delicious food and cook it up. But So there's an energy of like, there's also this energy of, holding things to oneself, like really having your own space for yourself, really having your own stability in yourself, right? So that you can dream and allow new ideas to come. Because it's very satisfying. It's my second nine, attainment. This is the wish card, basically. Um, it's also, there's this energy in, in the uh, nine of cups, like, this is basically a rainbow, right? So it's almost like it's almost like an arch of um, of love, of comfort around you. And I always feel like as these curtains are around him, there's a sense of being um, comfortable and and encompassed and loved and uh, safe. And um, you know, it's like getting under the covers in a good way, you know. Not in like, oh, I'm going to stay under the covers for a month. You know, it's like this, like, you know, I'm going to take some time and like go under the covers and read a book or think about nothing or talk to my friend on the phone or, uh, you know, watch something that I really enjoy that's really nourishing, nourishing. In order to establish something new, may we say that for that card, it, you know, it's a five, so it's change. And it's a change in um, foundation, a change in foundation. So maybe the foundation has always been about um, other people's dreams or other what other people think that you should spend be spending your time on. And it's like, well, what did you do? And because sometimes people, um, uh, you, you know what I really like to do here in Mexico City? And I'm an artist and I've been to a lot of the museums, but honestly, I don't go as much as I, um, as people think I might. I just like to walk around aimlessly and see what happens. Like that is very relaxing to me. It's like, oh, there's a park here. Oh, look at that building. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be in this neighborhood. <laughs> I, like, like that's what turns me on. You know, some people like to go shopping they might not even buy anything but they just want to go to the mall and see everything or to, uh, like a shop you know a street of shops or 
go to the park and like, I don't know, maybe I'll just go see what the trees have to say. Maybe I'll go look at the birds. Like, I think it's really important to do that for ourselves. Like almost take yourself out of yourself so that you can go into another place in your head, in your imagination and really listen to yourself and really listen to yourself. So this is uh, the King of Cups. Da, da, da. The King of Cups is the great diplomat. The King of Cups holds space. That's what he does. The King of Cups is the great listener. He is the great, he's the empathic great listener. He's the guy you can go and tell anything to, anything. And it's like, he can handle it. He can handle it. He's heard it all. And in the middle, interesting, in the middle of the turbulent sea, and the turbulent sea really represents our kind of uncomfortable emotions, right? In the middle of it, he's solid and he offers a gift. He offers the gift of listening. He offers the gift of intuition. He offers the gift of healing. That's who the King of Cups is. And it's really about being the King of Cups in our own lives and holding space and allowing all the turbulence. It's like, well, there's turbulence all around me. And uh, I'm just sitting here reading my book or I'm just sitting here listening to myself and, and watching and observing myself dreaming the dream. You know, and I feel like I'm doing the whole thing is happening to me right now. And see what gifts come up. Never read this card like that. If you've been with me for a while, I read it a lot of different ways and see what gifts come up. See what gifts come up, you know. And the interesting thing about this is also a four stability. But the interesting thing about him is a lot of times he says no, but I don't always read that card like that. I feel like, you know, if if an opportunity, so let's just put it this way, if an opportunity to daydream down a road you've never gone before, it's a daydream. So go with it. Go with it. You know, have, have that pleasantness inside yourself. I had some really interesting daydreams like two weeks ago, like things that had never come up before. We were like, no, oh, okay, I'm gonna allow myself to feel these feelings. This It's almost like uh, eating a new food you know, like going to some sort of uh, restaurant you haven't gone to before, like a different kind of cuisine. And, you know, sort of having this attitude of like, oh, I don't know, you know, right? <laughs> and then going there and getting something to eat, maybe like a you know, friend recommends, oh, go and have this, right? And you eat it and then you're like, this is really good. But if you don't try it, you know, you know, you'll never know. Yeah. Temperance has been uh, temperance has been in my mind a lot because it's the next row Tuesday and I know I know I know I'm late I'm very late. Um, temperance has this energy of balance. It has this energy of um, like the alchemist, the chemist, like reconfiguring something, right? Reconfiguring like a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you know, making something new of it. And with one foot in the emotion and the other foot firmly planted on the ground, it's like, I can make something new of this. Because sometimes if you allow yourself to go to that place of daydream, it's like, I forgot that I wanted that. Or maybe I never really, maybe there, maybe I've been blocked as to, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm unblocking right, as to what it is I would really like to experience, what would, what would heal me, what would make me feel more whole, more um, invigorated, more um, enchanted, not a word I use often. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no limit. Like, that's what I get from this. Like, there's no limit. Oh, you know, it's like you're 92, you're watching my thing. And it's like, I forgot that I wanted to be an astronaut. When I was a kid, I always thought like I, we could all fly in space, even though it hadn't been developed yet. And it's like now, I, like, yeah, 
Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end on this card. I really like this card. This is the eight, the eight of um, pentacles. So eights are about awareness. And uh, the eight of pentacles is a really fascinating little card. So the, the eight of pentacles, my understanding of the eight of pentacles is, I mean, okay, so the traditional meaning, it's either the, um, it's the craftsperson, right? Or it's either, it could be the mentor or the mentee, right? But for me, the, the eight of pentacles, um, it's this energy of getting involved in making something and in doing something physically that um, he's so involved in his work and he's so um, entranced and um, he's almost hypnotized. He's almost hypnotized. He's almost, um, he's in bliss. He's in bliss. He's made so many pentacles. He doesn't know how many he's made. And it's just like, this is what I do. This is what I do. It brings me joy. It makes me feel accomplished. Um, I get better at it as I do it. And it's between the pentacles that spirit comes in. It's between him doing this monotonous thing that he gets new ideas. He gets new inspiration. He, he says, maybe I can make these pentacles larger. Maybe I can, you know, use a different tool. Maybe instead of ma making them out of metal, I can make them out of ceramic. Maybe uh, I can make them out of wood. I wonder if I burn the wood. I wonder, like that. It, it's it's like that. And it happens through the physical act of doing. So it's interesting that that should come up at the end of the reading. Because I think first you have to, you know, hold the space to say, well, I think I could figure that out. I think I really want to do that, or I, I want to explore that. And if I hold, if the important thing is holding space for myself and my soul and my spirit, right, which I think is a super important thing for all of us to do, absolutely every single one of us to do, even if you're like an artist, even if you're a full-time artist, it's like, go and, you know, look at the rocks, go and, you know what I mean? Something that's like, well, I paint, but it's like, well, go look at the rocks, go climb the rocks, see what they feel like sort of thing. Um, because maybe in that, you're going to gather new inspiration. So I think I'm saying, well, I know I'm saying, step a little out of your comfort zone and, you know, do something that's like weird and fun and unexpected and, uh, be a kid, be a kid, be a curious, unafraid, adventurous, open-minded, childlike enthusiasm and experience. It's a nice reading. That's a really nice reading. All right, I'm going to show you all the cards. Away we go. Um, I think I'm going to try something new and creative because I'm in charge and I have a lot of energy behind it. I've put up boundaries between me and the rest of the world in order to be more balanced, in order to help the wind, the wheel to spin. So I'm going to put it like that today. Um, and, and dream dreams that make me fulfilled I'm going to look really carefully at them and then choose what it is that I want. In order to establish something new, I'm really listening to myself. I am going to take the gift and not be a spoiled child and, you know, uh, bored with the world. And once I have an idea of it, I'm going to take some action toward it. I'm going to take some action toward it. It's a nice reading. All right. I know the light's really weird. I've moved the table, I, you know, whatever. All right, so I do the 12 signs by, I do all 12 signs every week. And um, so I'm really trying to encourage membership, right? It's $4.99 a month, it really helps me out. So I do like six cards and if you want the extended, it's $4.99 a month, but you can watch all the extended for all the signs. So if you know, if you check out three or four of them, you, you know, for your, for your friend, um, then you could do that. 
And I will be including meditations very, very soon. I don't know the exact date, but very, very soon. Anyway, blessings to all of you. Thanks for joining me. And um, dream a dream. Blessings. <laughs>